Hello, my name is Mimi, and I am a docent here at the Wichita Art Museum. Today I'd like to share with you a piece of art from the recently installed art show called African American Artists in the 20th Century, featuring the themes of identity, adversity, and celebration. I've chosen the art piece behind me for a lot of reasons, but I'd like to um, explore some of those reasons with you and also see if you have some reasons that you think this is an interesting piece of art to think about for adversity, identity, and celebration. First of all, I'd like to just say a little bit about the artist, then we'll talk about the art piece itself, and then I'll give you some questions to think about later in your own time, maybe as a writing assignment, or as an art assignment, or as something you'd like to think about um, just when you have downtime to think about it. There's all kinds of information about this artist and all of the other artists that are featured in this show on the internet. And I would encourage anyone who has access to the internet to um, look at that a little more deeply and learn more about these very interesting people who created the art that we're featuring now. Also, I'd like to encourage you to come and visit the art museum free to the public Saturdays and Sundays throughout the month of February. I know it's hard for school groups to tour right now, but you are welcome to come visit with your family and friends on the weekends. And as I said, it is free then to do that throughout February. Okay, so who created this piece of art behind me? The artist's name is Frederick Brown. He was born in the South in Greensboro, Georgia in 1945. He lived um, and grew up in Chicago. He was part of what we call now the Great Migration. His family moved up to Chicago for a better life in the middle of the uh, 20th century. By the way, let's be clear, the 20th century, what does that mean? Does that mean the 2000s? I'm sure you all know that means the 1900s, right? So that's at least 22 years ago and in some cases all the way back to 1900. In the case of this piece of art, it was done in 1981, so about 40 years ago. Artists in the 20th century were exploring, especially African-American artists, were exploring art in new ways, as all artists were, and so we're very fortunate to have some prime examples of those art pieces with us here at the museum today. Frederick Brown grew up, as I said, in Chicago, he was um, trained as an artist at the University of Southern Illinois, and he went on to teach art and also teach art in China. Kind of amazing. First Western artist to teach art in China in the 1980s. He died in Scottsdale, Arizona in 2012. What do we see when we look at Mr. Brown's painting here? Well, first of all, if you look very carefully at all four corners of this rectangular piece of art, which is an oil on canvas, I don't think you can, maybe you can tell that from where you are, maybe you cannot. You see he enjoyed using color, right? So my art students out there, you can give a nice um, explanation for his use of color, line, form, and how he used that to designate the features on Reverend Reed. And who was Reverend Reed? Reverend Reed obviously was an important person to this artist, and it turns out he was actually his uncle, someone he wanted to celebrate in this way with his portrait. Frederick Brown did lots of um, religious pieces, and this piece is no exception. Reverend Reed, obviously um, a minister in some church, a church that Frederick Brown had grown up in, and one of the things that's striking about this piece as you look at it is all the many, 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 many images of a cross. So what does that tell us about Reverend Reed? What does that tell us about the artist, Frederick Brown, when he's incorporating the use of a cross throughout the piece of art that we're looking at? Reverend Reed stands in front of a window or something that looks like a window. It might be a window looking out onto some kind of landscape and you can see some images behind him. So you get the foreground, background, middle ground uh, landscape in addition to the portraiture here that we're looking at. So it's a portrait within a landscape maybe? I don't know, what do you think? Some other open-ended questions for you are, where might this painting be set? Is it urban? Is it rural? Are they in a church? Are they in a home? 
Why is Reverend Reed wearing so many colorful layers of clothing? What might Reverend Reed be thinking about? What might have been the relationship between Frederick Brown and Reverend Reed? We know it was uncle and nephew, but was it happy? Was it strained? Was it contentious? What would be your way of describing it based on what you're seeing the, um, in Reverend Reed in this painting? My assessment of this particular piece is that this is a way to honor Reverend Reed, and it records him in a way that he might not have otherwise been remembered, given the fact that he's African American in an urban setting where he may or may not have had um, a high social standing or enough money to hire a, a portrait artist to paint his portrait. But here he is painted as fine art to be admired by us today and by many people in the future. I hope you can find something interesting about Reverend Reed and about Frederick Brown and all the other artists in this fine exhibit. Thanks and have a great day.